Abdi Hakim Ayente is the uh, co-founder of Minbar Initiative. That's a civic-based platform in Somalia. He joins us now live from Mogadishu. I just want to get uh, the reaction there uh, from Mogadishu, from Somalia. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on this. Uh, I mean, the reaction generally has been extremely provocative and a very um, upsetting on the, on the part of the government of Somalia and broadly also the public of Somalia. And this really has come at a time when both Somalia and Somaliland just had a, a negotiation round in Djibouti. So it's really escalated uh, the situation that has already been intense. Now, tell me something. I was looking at, uh, at your, your tweet. It said that uh, the late Prime Minister uh, Meles, in search of uh, sea and port access, launched a brutal military incursion in 2007, which gave uh, birth and ascendancy to Ashabab. Two decades later, Prime Minister Abiy uh, is falling into the same trap with difficult tactics, and this will have uh, wider regional consequences. Can you explain this to us and our audience? So if you look at how al-Shabaab was ascended into power in 2007, about a, uh, nearly two decades ago, it actually came on the heels when Ethiopian military incursion take place. And al-Shabaab emerged as an alternative voice, battling and fighting against that military incursion. And al-Shabaab then has morphed into a jihadist terrorist organization that has metastasized across the region and across the whole of Africa. What today seems to be is that what happened yesterday, again, speaks and, and galvanizes the, the same nationalistic voices that has created the Al-Shabaab. So it's not uh, a sign that would uh, speak to uh, the, the, the normal Somalis. It could definitely attract mm -hmm. and speak to the narrative of the nationalists who could then morph into uh, a very radical and a fanatic organization. And it will also have a wider implication. Abdi Hakim, just very quickly, can Somalia really stop Ethiopia right now from doing this? Well, that depends on how, what do you mean stop? Of course, Somali government has some leverage. It has a diplomatic leverage to put in place. It also has some territorial integrity that also, but more important to Somalia is part of the African Union, mm -hmm. which uh, clearly uh, stated that every nation, every member state of African Union should respect the territorial integrity or the African Union Charter on Integrity. So absolutely, Somalia has a diplomatic muscles to put uh, pressure on Ethiopia. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on TRT World. Abdi Hakim Ayente, live there from Mogadishu.